What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Saggy, Summer and Ising Venus. Where we take a look to see what messages need to come through for you in your love life. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that is in the, the description box down below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. And with that being said, let's get right into this reading and see what is going on for my Saggies in love. We already got cards falling out. We have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. We got two sevens. Seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> All right, really interesting. Interesting. Let's see what else is to come out for Saggy. We have the devil. Mm. Hmm. And okay. All right. Speaking so fast. Five of cups and the six of cups. So, you guys, seems like. There's a little special someone you can't seem to get over. Or there is... Um, maybe they're not special someone. <laughs> maybe you're like, they're not special to me. But for some reason, you be thinking about them. We have the Empress. The Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And the Emperor. And the Four of Swords. You're definitely resting, healing, getting back your energy, taking back your power. Um, there's some heaviness five of cups there's some heaviness there's some sadness um sad that something didn't work out six of cups sad that um oh you know what i forgot to do just now just before i started doing the reading putting a tea light in my um essential oil burner so let me do that real quick because you know it sets the vibe <laughs> it sets the vibe give me a second um what was i saying Give me a second, because I can't. I feel like I can't do all these different things at once. Talking, reading, lighting candles. All right, there we go. All right, so Sag, yeah. It's like you're in this very reflective energy, treasuring past memories that you shared with an individual, and it appears like it's all gone to shit, or something came to an end. There's some sort of loss that you went through, and um, you're trying to move on from it and you are working on bettering yourself and I mean shit you are coming out here as the empress you're looking beautiful you're feeling great you're probably really investing in yourself taking good care of yourself how um, you know how you display yourself out physically you might be working out dressing nicely uh, styling your hair nicely just like trying to show up as your best self and it shows and you know it's empowering you you're feeling very confident within yourself but there's still a situation on your mind from the past that you can't seem to really shake there's still some sadness there's still some heaviness um you wish things were different you wish that you know shit didn't go out the way that it did but it did and Something about it was very negative. There was a very toxic draining cycle. You know, maybe you were dealing with someone who was struggling with addictions or um, picking up on the energy where maybe some maybe you were dealing with someone who had very, very someone who struggled with their mental health and it could have been very draining for you always constantly trying to fix someone else's problems and always putting out this person's fires and you know it took a lot of energy from you and it was extremely draining and it's just exhausting and just not healthy right this person may not have been like a bad person necessarily but just the relationship the dynamic between you and this individual just was very very unhealthy and unhealthy relationships don't last and so you look back at this or you're looking back at this and we have mercury retrograding right so it's Mer it's retrograding i think it's now in taurus or it should be in taurus pretty soon anyways you'll be feeling the effects of that and yeah you're probably just like looking back at like i wish things were different it's kind of sucky it isn't and it's raining super loud. I don't think my microphone will be picking it up, but it's raining super loud. <laughs> so this caught my attention for a second. 
just because you miss this person from your past, I'm picking up like you may miss this person or you can maybe you, you just treasure the, the memories that you shared with this person. Just because you may think about them doesn't mean that you want them back into your life. I have to make that clear. It's like just because you're thinking about them and you wish things were different doesn't mean that you necessarily want them back, that you would give them a chance. I'm not picking up on that energy like you've accepted it. For what it is, there's acceptance here. I don't know what the fuck I'm hearing. I'm like hearing like a rattling in the other room. I'm like, huh? What was that? But um you're really holding to your values, recognizing like I can't go through this again, or give me a second. You're holding true to your values, like you can't Put yourself through this situation again although you may have love for this person you have more love for yourself yeah it's a tough love kind of situation it whew, yeah that's the vibe i feel from this that's the vibe i feel from this um i think we'll take a little look into this and then depending on how much time we have left we'll pull some more cards but um okay so let's take a look into the six of cups then are the six of cups for Sagittarius. I want to call you Virgo <laughs> for some reason. So you can be dealing with Virgo. We do have Taurus energy as well as Capricorn and Libra. Time to six of cups for Sagittarius. Yeah, there's just like heaviness when it comes to looking back at this, this past situation. Whether this is recent past or maybe a while back, they just... It, there's such a disappointment. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. For love in May. Five of Pentacles. Loss. You went through loss and it sucks. And you look back at the past times and you remember how beautiful things were. Like you see that this is like a rose, right? When roses are, are growing, when they're fresh, they're so beautiful. They're so full of life and, you know, they're known to be like, they're romantic flowers. And so maybe you look back at how things used to be. You're like, oh my God, things used to be so romantic and so loving and joyful. And the reality of where it is now, it's just like, it's like dead. It's dried up. It's shriveled. It's over. It's never, it's not going to come back. This dead flower isn't going to come back. And so it's like, damn, it just kind of sucks, you know? We have the Ace of Wands, okay. Six of Cups for Cap Capricorn, sorry, Sagittarius. Six of Cups for Sag. We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. The Lovers. <clears throat> So what I'm seeing here is you have new opportunities in love. Ace of Wands and the Lovers, Gemini energy, you have new opportunities in love. You have new energy that you could expand, that you could explore, that you could have fun and dive into. Um, there are fears that are getting in the way of that though. Fears of what if I go through loss again? What if I get disappointed again? What if the, the past repeats itself? Um, what if this is going to fail? What if I'm not deserving? There's a lot of what ifs. There's a lot of doubts. There's a lot of worries and concerns that you have. And so it's keeping you stuck in this limbo. It's keeping you stuck from actually giving this new energy a shot. Like this, these fears that you have are like crippling in a way where it's just like you can't even, you can't take any action towards what you really, really desire. Four of Wands at the bottom, partnership, the chariot, and the six of wands, and the star. Deep down, your your desire, your hope, your dream, your want, your want is to have a healthy, committed, supportive relationship. You want it to be successful. You don't want it to fail. Who wants the, a relationship to fail? Who wants a failed love and heartbreak and, you know, backstabbing and betrayal like who wants that you don't want that who fucking wants that right you don't want that at all you want you don't you want the opposite of that you want it you both to succeed and 
to help each other grow and you know all of that that's like what you want but you're so afraid of the opposite happening so it's like you you keep yourself stuck or you feel you keep telling yourself well I'm not ready yet I'm not ready yet I'm not ready because I'm not fully healed or you know what if this or what if I'm not what just like making all these excuses I feel like I'm gonna sneeze so (sighs) it's gone okay (laughs) I'm just like hey I'm not gonna say anything until it's gone it passed all right so that's kind of like what's coming up as you're looking back at some things from your past and you're just like i don't know if i'm ready i don't know if i'm i am i healed yet am i able to move on yet like all right five of cups you know what yeah the five of cups the affirmation for the five of cups says i will move forward when the time is right so only you know when the time is right if you're not ready for a new love you're not ready for it point blank i can't tell you if you're ready or not you gotta ask yourself ready or not some of you are some of you aren't that's all good right that is a choice you'll have to make with the two of wands tell me about the five of cups for sagittarius in the month of may regarding their love life i will say it's like the second half of these readings from like virgo to now you guys i'm like these have been pretty intense these are the, the first half of these love readings. I was like, oh my god, this is so like so positive. New love coming in. Oh my god, there's so many. And then the second half is like heartbreak, self sabotage, the past. I'm like, damn. So the first half of the zodiac seems like they're like, woohoo, new love. And the second half of the zodiac, they're like, whoa, crying over the past. It's like, what is going on, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the groups I'm picking up on. All right, five of cups. We have the two of wands. Double confirmation. Uh, Ready or not? Ready or not? Five of cups. Four of cups. Ten of pentacles. Reversed. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. The eight of cups. Yeah. And the mother of cups. And the high priestess. Okay, so with the high priestess that 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 was kind of further down like these heavy emotions and this sadness and just feeling discontent with your life with your current relationships where things are at there's this they're feeling just jaded feeling like you're lacking feeling undeserving and all of that right feeling like your life your love life has just been on hold that you've been missing out, et cetera, et cetera. Also just feeling like the foundation isn't there, just not even having the trust to even possibly put yourself back out there. Like just, there's a lot of those those fears that we've been talking about. Um, and this is all really kept hidden. This is all going on internally no one can see this no one could like you might have a smile on your face and you're showing up here as this miss confident mr confident empress emperor and that you know your worth you know your value and you're so strong and like you're not gonna sell for less and yeah yeah (laughs) no but on the inside you're like damn i just want someone to love i just want someone who will appreciate me like i'm so sick and tired of like leaving shit behind and going through such struggles and challenging times like i just i'm so tired of just constantly going uphill burden burden baggage all the struggles and the crap and i'm just sick of it sick of this shit you know sick of this shit and so there's like that energy of just like when when will i finally have what i'm looking for because right now i don't have it four of cups um again also the other energy i'm picking up on is like crying over what you lost focusing on what you don't have any longer feeling regret feeling yeah just regret that things didn't happen the way you hoped or wanted and so it's like again it's just like this this is just a heavy past energy of just like damn i wish things were different uh but they aren't but there's like the struggle of having acceptance 
I'm also picking up with the high priestess, kind of like in this daydreamy energy. Like you just kind of physically you're here, but mentally you're in the past. Like the energy I'm picking up from you, Sag, is like you're in the past. You're in the past, thinking about what you left behind. Did I do the right thing? Did I make the right choice? Am I going to regret this? What if I, what if they're the one that got away? Maybe if I stuck around, maybe things would be different. Maybe I could have helped them. Maybe I could have saved them, right? We go back to the scenario I threw out, like maybe you're dealing with someone who is really struggling and it's like, no matter what you could have done, you couldn't help save this person. You couldn't fix this person. That's for someone out there. It's like, maybe you're trying to fix someone and it's just like, was doing more damage for you staying around it's just yeah that's just the shit i'm picking up on anyways it's intense y'all it's intense i don't know why i'm whispering (laughs) i don't know why i'm whispering it's intense so um okay so this is where things need to change you need to redirect your focus let's let's take a look into the empress and then the nine of pentacles all right Take the time you need to nurture yourself, to take good care of yourself. There is also something within you that is growing or developing. Maybe the Empress is representing like a period of pregnancy where you are undergoing changes mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even physically going through changes. And you are almost at that breaking point of coming out of those changes and stepping into like a new life where that's when you come into the best chapter of your life i literally posted that on my community tab this like kind of quote thing i posted on my community tab this morning Uh, i was like the seeds that you're planting and how the next season that you're stepping in is going to be the best fucking season of your life so manifesting that like really changing your focus be like okay it sucks this this past situation it didn't work out for me it's disappointing it's heartbreaking it's devastating i feel all these types of ways acknowledge it but now it's time to redirect your focus and be like okay that clearly wasn't meant for me there's something better that will come into my life when you go through loss when you experience loss loss is temporary there's going to be something that comes in when you experience loss it's actually it, it is a sign it shows it's letting you know some of your manifestations are going to be coming in right you have to clear the space so that new things can come in what doesn't serve you has to leave your life otherwise it's occupying space it's delaying the blessings from coming in right so although it may be hard to see or understand right now down the line it will all make sense to you sag so yeah anyways tell me the empress not of pentacles i feel like you're really needing to redirect your focus on yourself putting yourself first um really getting back your strength your confidence your stability um and your own security even financially just like really redirecting your energy towards yourself instead of focusing on what didn't work out really focus on what will work out for you in the future and how things are going to be completely different you're never going to go through that heartbreak or that disappointment again you know better now so just like rechange your focus redirect your focus and i believe we've said that before in your readings as of recently i don't think it was your clips reading it may have been the one before that or the one before that something from last month i remember telling you guys like really pay attention to your focus and like what you give your energy to because what you focus on you do tend to attract more of it or again whatever you focus on you tend to see more of that right so just keep that in mind like your mind is really magnetic at this time wheel of fortune reversed right you can easily block yourself or get in the way of the blessings that are trying to come in you know what my whole deck is upside down so i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna assume these cards are actually upright okay so we have the devil and the wheel of fortune capricorn energy what could prevent the wheel from turning is yourself or negative thinking negative patterns or even feeling attached to certain outcomes or attached to certain people from the past right attachment i think something you're working through is detaching detached from the outcome detached from expectations um even expectations you put on other people. Okay, let's move on. 
Part of the Empress, Nine of Pentacles for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups Reverse. So Nine of Cups Reverse and the Ace of Cups. After disappointment, something better is coming in. What's at the bottom? Two of Pentacles. But I want to pull more. Tell me about the Empress. Magician reversed. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles. Oh, and what is this? Five of Wands and that card. Okay. Damn. Mother of Swords. Okay, so again, it's all about your focus. And at the bottom, we have the Chariot. So it's like what you focus your energy towards. You got that tunnel vision. That's where you shoot. Where you aim, when you let go, that's where your, that's where your, your bullet, your arrow is going to go. So yeah, bow and arrow. Think about it. You guys, you're the horse, horseman with the arrow. That's the Sagittarius. It's like what you pull and aim for, you know, when you release, that's where you're going to shoot. So make sure wherever you're wanting to shoot. What may what am I saying? Oh my god, Sag. Mercury is fucking with my brain, Mercury retrograde. Make sure you're aiming at the target that you want. Don't aim at the target that you don't want. The fuck? Right? <laughs> Just, okay. Something like that, right? You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Ooh, holy. Okay. Because we have the Magician Reverse and the Five of Wands. This is like scatterbrain. This is like, I don't know what I want. I'm just like, okay, just close my eyes and just throw shit wherever. I don't know where it's going to land. No time for winging it, okay? No time for winging it. Because <laughs> this feels very much scattered and just like scattered with... Um, like, what is it that you're trying to move towards? Kind of just goes back to what I was saying. It's like, what are you aiming at, Sag? What is your aim? What is it that you're looking for? For some, it's like, are you... So when it comes to relationships, are you looking for something long-term? Are you looking for something that's just kind of to fill the time for enjoyment? Someone that you can just, like, whatever. Like, well, just get clear with what you're looking for. And with the Mother of Swords, this is about that. Like, getting clear. Being honest with yourself of like what do i value in my relationships quality time the depth that you share emotionally intimately like whatever the fuck right get clear with like what even what what do you so you want a relationship but why do you want it so and that goes for any kind of manifestation not even in love in in general it's like you're trying to manifest something okay so you put in the request, but why are you requesting this? Why do you want this? What good is that going to be doing for you? What what kind of purpose does it serve? Like, why? So you want love. You want to get married. You want to have the kids. You want to have the house. Okay, great. Why? Why? Ask yourself why. Why? Like, literally just be asking yourself why. And you're like, I don't know why. Just keep asking yourself why. Like, just keep <laughs> digging keep digging okay you gotta dig deep okay oh why should i dig deep i fucking know that's just what i'm picking up now it's like you just gotta dig deep <laughs> Sag. <laughs> um i don't know there's been like some distraction in this reading i don't know what i'm even gonna call this i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna call this you guys <laughs> i really don't um so yeah, I mean, basically to summarize, because I'm trying to figure out, like, what was this reading about? To summarize the reading, there's some things on your mind from your past that you're working through, acceptance, releasing, and healing from, and then also the importance of why, getting clear of what you want and why you want it, you know? So that's, like, your reading. So hope it helps <laughs> if you want to book a private reading with me information for that is in the description down below if you want to follow me on instagram and tiktok you can find me at jade stone tarot and i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next one take care